Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I'd make this video because I have been trying to get Trigger Fire to work for the longest time. Okay. I have been, I just started using it today as this recording. Just trying to mess with things, add different things to the stream, channel point redemptions, things like that, just to give variety, right? So I've been going on YouTube trying to look up different ways to, you know, add Trigger Fire to the obs i thought i had to add multiple url links each time you would add a new source like you would do anything else if i were to add like a custom command i need to add a you a url for each source you add and not with trigger fire and i'll explain that in this video so this is just something else don't worry about that Anyway, that was, I was looking up sounds to add. So I have these, right? And I thought you needed to copy the URL link here by clicking this down below. Everybody in, the, in their videos on YouTube just shows you how to add a new one. They don't explain that if you try to add multiple and you try to copy the link over and over, it just replaces it in your OBS and it just overlaps each other and overlaps each other. And I will show you exactly how to do this. Okay. So the one thing that they tell you, first things first, is yes, you want to link your, well, first of all, you want to link your Twitch to your trigger fire, right? Get that all sorted out. I'm assuming you've done that already. So when you when you do that, they always tell you yes. <clears throat> we want to make a new channel point redemption, and it needs to be the name of what you're gonna name it. So let's just do for an example, Nemesis. Okay, and then we'll just do 100, just for the test. And now it's here. Uh, it's a hundred. It's a hundred channel points. So it's going to be here, Nemesis. Okay. So for the sake of being, making it easy, Nemesis GIF. All right. Let's just choose. No, oh, fuck that. Uh, this one. This one's badass. All right. Save. And this is just all the other stuff that I use. Uh, Nemi. Save. Okay. Trigger fire. We're going to create a new image. GIF image. I guess you could place it in video as well if you want, because it's technically a video, but uh, like a moving video or moving image, sorry. We're gonna go and just place it in an image, okay? We're gonna go here. The command name, just name it Nemesis, or whatever you're gonna name it. This is if you want to set it to be either triggered via command name, exclamation, whatever your name is, or you could set it to channel point, which is what we want for my channel. So, Nemesis. Okay, and it needs to be the same exact spelling. And uh, it's very, very case sensitive and spelling sensitive. So, if you don't name it correctly, it's not going to work. And this allow command is it's just if you want it to be named with the command only, then you would just name it with the command only. Or it lets you do both. But I think activating this disables. The yes, disabling this will let you only trigger it by activating the Twitch reward. Uh, so we're going to click save, and then yes, um, if you want it to be the command, then you would adjust all these cooldowns, uh, user level, all that stuff. So we're going to 
select image. These are the all the, the images I have. Images, videos, sounds. We want to go to upload. Select file. I'm going to expose myself. You're going to see. You actually can't see. That's good. Okay. It's on my other monitor. So we're going to go to our wherever you saved your GIF, video, or sound. You're going to go to where that's at located. And since we chose Nemesis, Nemesis is going to pop up right now. Correct? Right here. And then. Obviously, we don't want to trash it. We want to hit the check mark. Okay? It's playing. We named it Nemi just for the sake of adding it into, saving it into our folder. We're going to go save, right? Okay. And this is what they don't tell you. When they tell you, they always start their videos with having multiple sort, uh, multiple images or videos already in there. Um, folders right so when they tell you to make a new one they don't say that you don't need multiple sources for each one or multiple urls for each one you only need one url for the website itself which is this but it's not the url from here when you create one source you will then copy the link from here so because we added this new one, right? This is already this is already there. Okay. It's gonna look a little weird. It's gonna look like this. I'm sorry. Alright. <clears throat> we added the nemesis gif, right? So you're gonna be like, oh okay. Well, you're gonna go here to test all your stuff. I've been testing shit all this time because it wasn't working. Because I was adding multiple trigger fire source um urls i couldn't find a video to explain why it was overlapping so just for an example i will show you uh my jill just for an example jill it's going to look like that because i have display capture so we just added the new one all right nemesis right here it's not playing we added it why isn't it playing? You want to double click your browser source and refresh cache or cache of current source. And then it resets it. Whatever we add, we have to keep resetting it. Let's go back to Nemesis again. And there it is. Now you can't move these at all, whatsoever. Whatever you paste in the browser source, some people fit it to screen, so it goes and overlaps their screen, so it could play. I am just going to do it in a corner like that, and I'm gonna leave it there. So when you do multiple ones, let's do Hospula. Whatever you add as videos, images, or GIFs, they are all going to be in that one browser source box, which is this. Now, I can move it wherever I want. So you could do whatever you want with yours, but that's where I'm going to keep mine. And just to test it out again, <clears throat> we have Jill. We have Nemesis. Just, this is for the test. Jill. And you could also add sounds to GIFs. For example, I added Red Queen. You're all going to die down here. You could add a, you could add the sound when you're adding the image, or you could just do the video and not be complicated like me. And then we added the Aspula <laughs> video. I added it down. I added it. Uh, and then we did a one solo sound that I just worked on right now. All of this is going to the one source, the one URL source. And this is just an audio cue. Bitch. And there you go. I don't know why people are making it so complicated, but that is how you do it. That is how you add multiple images, multiple videos, multiple audio cues through Triggerfire.
without needing to add multiple URL sources. And then you'll be good to go. If you have any questions, I will answer them as best as I can. I just started using this tonight, but this is the easiest way I could explain what other people aren't. I'll catch you guys later. If you want to catch me in my live streams, visit twitch.tv slash call me 666, the same name as my YouTube.